We will now begin chapter 3 which talks about static techniques. Like we said, chapter 3 consists of 3 questions in the exam. It's a small chapter and all its questions come in a direct way. They all come in K1. Remember, okay? All its questions are direct and easy. Chapter 3 consists of 3 sections. Now we will start the first section which is static techniques and the test process. We talked about dynamic testing. Dynamic testing is the execution of the software. You execute the software and you try to find bugs. So it finds defects and failures. On the other hand, in static testing, we don't execute the software. We rely on the manual examination and the automated analysis. Static testing finds the cause of failures and defects. How? If we review a document and we find the problems in it, the failure or the defect will not happen. That's how. Static testing is divided into two types. The first is reviews and second is static analysis. Reviews are most of the time a manual activity. So reviews are done before dynamic testing, of course. And like we said, a review could be done entirely as a manual activity, but we can use tools to support the review process. What is the manual activity? We examine our work product and we make comments about it. So what are the work products? What is the thing that we can call a work product? Anything that we done during our project is considered as a work product. For example, the requirements, the design, the code, the test plans, test specifications, test cases, test scripts, user guides, and web pages. Anything of them is considered as a work product that we can perform the review process on it. What are the benefits of reviews? Reviews help us to detect defects early and correct them early, of course. It improves productivity, because when we find defects early in the life cycle, the amount of rework will decrease and so the productivity will increase. It also reduces cost and time. Also, it finds the problems and requirements which can't be found in dynamic testing, okay? If you are testing dynamically, you are executing software and you didn't look at the requirements. Some types of bugs, you are not able to identify or know them unless you look at the requirements and review them, okay? So reviews find those types of bugs that can't be found in dynamic testing. 